Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Tuesday edition of Rasaji Speaks. I'm so happy to be with you today. Thanks for all the prayers. I sure appreciate it. God bless you all. Today's uh, title shall be The Dance of Stillness and Movement. Don't forget, you can pick up with live with Master David tonight at seven o'clock mountain time. Here we are. Well, it all kind of happened with this background around us, why we're in the process of developing a retreat center in Costa Rica that looks a lot like this. But this is what it looked like 3,000 plus years ago when our first Lama G showed up and said, I'm going to take my yoga to a whole new level. I'm going to prostrate myself before the Divine Mother. She's going to become my guru now. And in that process, everything's going to change. He noticed that everywhere he was, whatever the element was, was influencing the quality of chi an intrinsic energy that he was absorbing. Incredible when you think about it, right? Absolutely incredible when you think about it. It's amazing when, when you consider it. He coined this phrase, fluency of motion. Where does fluency of motion meet how slow can you go? Well, in the root of that, the fluency of motion represented the water element, like the waterfall behind me. But how slow can you go represented the earth element with all the foliage. I remember one time, Grandmaster Bo Yang looked to me one day and he said, you know, the force of the water really represents the flow of the energy. But did you know that 30% of the earth is earth? And if you look like it is a, a, a suspended ball in space, it's literally a terrarium. And that terrarium, the 30%, is holding the force of the 70%. It's like a terrarium or an aquarium. When you think about it, it's absolutely amazing. And then this thing is rotating in space on its axis. It's absolutely amazing, the power of God, is it not? I was on the mountaintop in Tibet, you know, in the late 70s, before 1980, the next decade was turning around. And then it came to me. In the stillness is all the movement. And in moving, one must remain still. It's the dance of the Tao. And the key force of divinity moves through us when we allow it to happen. That is the Divine Mother and the Divine Father, the Alpha and the Omega, the first, the beginning, and forever. Tai Chi Gong shows you how to get all of that out of the way. Literally get you out of the way. It begins with this. But over a period of time, you get out of the way. Then your spirit connects with the Holy Spirit. And the Divine Mother and Father accelerates. When you take your Tai Chi Gung practice back to her, she accelerates you, right? What do I mean by that? Well, it, it, does it not, a child is born. Think of all the nourishment that the fetus gets in the mother's womb for the expectant nine months. And then the child's born. But it still needs to be fed, yes? Breast milk, 
fruit, nourishment, right? This happens on a psychic level all the time. When we're here, when we're doing our Tai Chi Gong here or even inside, we are eating food to eat that people mostly know not of. And with the penetration of more and more of the energy of the Heavenly Father and Divine Mother, this process happens. What's it remind you of Tai Chi Swim? Then eventually the second birth begins to happen that Jesus referred to. Being born of the holy fires. The name for that passed down in the city yoga masters of over 50,000 years is Kundalini. Kundalini. The sleeping serpent. I find it very interesting that this coming year will be the year of the snake. I wonder how many people's kundalini will get awoken in the year of the sleeping serpent. And I wonder how many people's kundalini will advance and go to the other side. It's very, very powerful. In moving, one must become still. In the stillness lies all the movement of creation. Be still and no. Baraka Mashai, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Don't forget to check out Master David's class tonight. God bless you all and see you tomorrow.